Kia ora and aroha from New Zealand. I hope you're well in whichever part of the world you are in. This is the background that I'll be painting today and I do hope you'll join along with me. You could use any medium that you like, maybe acrylics, watercolors or whatever you have on hand. The oil paper that I use today is 14.5 into 10.5 centimeters. The paints that I'm using are yellow ochre, green and blue. I take a round brush and apply the paints. There is no particular brush that I use for my oils. I buy cheap brushes and because I go through a lot of them and once they get frayed I either keep some for textures or I throw them out. So I start by applying the paints and then gently blending in with a soft tissue. I usually uh, use brushes, very wide brushes to blend in the paints on my canvas. But since this is a small piece of paper, I am doing it with a soft tissue. I've earlier done a couple of videos in oils and in those videos I've mentioned that I prepared my backgrounds because they needed to dry before I lay down a second layer. So I thought I'd share this process with you on how I paint my backgrounds and keep them ready for my future paintings. I take titanium white here and apply it to the paper so it gives a very dreamy effect when you blend in. It's really simple and fun doing these backgrounds because you don't have to worry if something goes wrong. And if it does, well, it's not the end of the world. At times when I feel like painting something quickly, this is the best way because I have a layer already dried up and ready for me to paint. I prepare quite a few of these backgrounds, not always with leftover paints. Sometimes I use colors of the sky, forests, sunsets, anything actually. For example, this is one of my oil paintings on canvas. It's a koru frond, for which I had to do many layers for the background, indicating that there's a forest behind. So it took me a lot of time because I had to dry each layer and then paint on the next one. Whereas for these small paintings, since it's on oil paper, the drying time is much faster. If you'd like to see these paintings which I just showed in full and also some other paintings of mine, you could visit my Instagram page at brenrose.art. I'll put that in the description box below. It's brenrose.art. So, so far during this painting, I've used three colors, yellow ochre, green and blue. I've painted um, them in different places and just used titanium white on top to blend and give a dreamy effect. I'm still adding some paints of blue and green in places so that um, the paper below cannot be seen. I usually would like the paper to be seen because I that's why I use these uh, brushes because they are all frayed and they are not very expensive ones and I like my textures to be seen so I'm happy with using these brushes but if you are new to oils uh, just invest in one or two brushes even if it's a good quality brush or if it's um, just the ones. I got these from the $2 shop, so they're that cheap. <laughs> so now I take a wide brush and just blend everything in. So for blending in, you have to take the brush and do it with a very light touch. It's as if you're just um, um, moving air around. And as you blend, th this is a tip, as you blend, you take your brush and wipe it on a tissue paper. And again, so every time you see my hand going away, it's wiping it. Now 
Now you could spend a lot of time doing this blending but even on canvas if you do you have to constantly keep adding paints keep blending again repeat the layer of adding paints again blend so it's a slow process but it's a very rewarding and satisfying process again i take titanium white and add in another layer i'm using um, the paint in the brush in such a way that i make circular movements and that the white that I use on the brush remains at the top. It's almost like clouds. So this is a good technique if you're learning to paint clouds. As I said before, this is going to take some time and enjoy the time whilst you're doing it. Painting does make a person patient. Every medium does in fact, even if you sketch or use color pencils or any other medium, it's all building layers. So you have to be gentle with yourself and do it step by step. For me, for my oil paintings on canvas, they do take a lot of time. I, like I said, I do a lot of textures and I'm a multimedia artist. I'll show you here one painting of mine in which I do a lot of 3D effects and textures and you'll understand why I like to use palette knives and frayed brushes. So in this sunset painting of mine these are rocks and a waterfall and the rocks are used in such a way that it actually comes out of the painting but to give a 3D effect. So that's what I mean when I use uh, a lot of time and different uh, things like palette knife and all to do my paintings so by now i've used quite a few layers of paints and um, keep building upon it layer by layer Most of this video is done in time lapse, so if you want to watch it again in a slower pace, you can always go to the three dots on the right side of the video at the top and choose uh, whatever settings you desire. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank you if you're stopping by for the first time a very warm welcome and I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe for further videos and hit the notification bell too so that you're notified whenever I put up a video and to those who are returning again a real big thank you uh, for always uh, leaving behind comments and liking my videos I do hope you enjoy this video and um, enjoy the future videos that I put up. Again, I'll put a list of the supplies that I've used in this painting in the description box below. Just below the video, if you click on the downward arrow or if you see read more, uh, just click on that and you'll get to see the description of the video as well as the list of the supplies used in the video. I now do the blending with the brush very gently and in circular motions and that's the painting that's the end of the painting so again thank you so much for watching this with me and I hope you've done something similar and if not um, you can always go back and do it so Thank you again and um, hope to see you soon.